Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. In this video, we're gonna do two incredibly difficult levels, probably two of the hardest levels in the game, Melon Kingdom and Durian Kingdom. So, first we're gonna do Melon Kingdom. Alright, this is actually like my, what, third take, fourth? Because this level is ridiculously, ridiculously hard. And it's second level. The first level is a Wildebeest level that's pretty easy. The clapping would work. For some reason, it's not working when I tap the side. It only works when like you're not tapping the other buttons or something. I don't know. It's weird. So here you have to tap the, you know, the uh, you have to throw the watermelon and things from the tusk boss at the at the. Working now. It's confusing me. At these birds and that golden bird you saw gives extra points. Ow. It's kind of difficult to dodge right here because I throw all these stupid red spiky things at you. I don't know why it wasn't working before. He is the lizard, Kukukachu. So yeah, as I just said, this level is not very hard. It's mainly the next level you're gonna have trouble with. But being that lizard, you get a hundred watermelons. Or no, a hundred beets. So here, at the end of this level, where my arm's tired. We find the fact that I didn't turn the brightness down. There. Better. We find a bonus level with the long jump. Let's see, I already have a record on this level. Uh, just because it's like the third time I play this level and it's pretty difficult. But I'm happy with 900 beats. Or 90 beats. That long jump's not too difficult. But here we have, oh my god, I hate this level. The Banshee Swamp. This level, oh my freaking god, this level's hard. As you can see, there's all this stupid blue meteor junk. And I hate blue meteors. And I hate that, because that was a freaking cheap shot. Like, seriously, it was just freaking stupid. And th these meteors can make for some incredibly challenging level design. Like, you have to dodge them throughout this entire level, and all throughout they are incredibly difficult. And just make it worse with these stupid delayed monkey bars, or monkey vines. And to make it even worse, we have a gliding segment. Now, fun, uh, actually, before I started this video, I actually went to see what ha happened if you try to play the game with the GameCube controller. I played Banana King and actually got a new score, but if you could if you could believe it, the controls are even freaking worse. Like, maybe it was just the controller I was using, but the control stick, like, you, instead of just, you know, holding left or right, like in the new play controls version, you just kind of, like, tap left and right. Like, you just have to keep tapping the control stick left and right, and it's incredibly, incredibly annoying, because it's not responsive at all. But here we have a Fire Warhog. This, this hit me several times because I accidentally jumped. I'm trying to be really cautious not to jump. This guy can be pretty daring and annoying. There's stupid things like that. Oh god. Bird segment now. incredibly difficult uh, things. I'm gonna just gonna ignore those because it's not worth it.
Yeah, that bird segment is plenty of proof of how difficult this level is. So here, don't try to go up this with the bird. You will only die. Or only get hurt. Because that is incredibly hard with the bird. You want to try to keep a really good combo throughout this level. And it's not very easy considering how many freaking hazards there are. No! Okay, 105. You could try to get some uh, wall jumps off the the area below, but it's pretty difficult and not worth it. You don't need it. You don't need it. You definitely don't need it. You need it! Okay, you don't need it. Oh, you gotta clap to get those things out of there. Oh, this guy is difficult to get. You could try to, like, maneuver your bird through the, the meteors, but it's not worth it in the slightest. It's incredibly difficult. Okay. Yellow guy right there. Okay, they're done. I did get 300 beats. Oh god. I'm gonna deposit this... well... I wanna go get them, but I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my counter. Okay, good. Now here you can't go up with the birds, so you have to deposit your beats. But here is kind of a jerk move. I want to say the bad word, but I don't. But I really don't want to. Um, these meteors will come up and do stupid junk because it's almost impossible. To see. Well, you can't see them, but if you're not paying attention, it's not expected that you should cheap shot. You really. It's kind of weird if you were paying attention up there, as you really shouldn't have to. But this bird is kind of like a mini boss. Uh, she's gonna throw down watermelons, and you're gonna have to throw them back up at him. But when he's stunned, you have to jump up at him and hammer him down to the ground. Doo -doo -doo. But oh my god, that level's freaking annoying! And the monkeys are dancing, 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 dancing! But that level's freaking over. I hate that level, it's way too hard. But here we have the boss, which isn't hard, and he's fun. Um. Bloathog. Bloathog, uh, as you can see, he's on a waterfall. This is close to this is closer related to Rumble Falls than Rumble Falls is. But uh, something I actually forgot to uh, show, and just something that would have made it a lot easier. Um, if once he gets down here, there's something you can do with him. See, like that, you can hit him with two coconuts. So here, you know, just punch him with your donkey punch. Actually, it's called Giant's Punch. Was it? Can you get him on the ground? I don't think. Is, can he even get on the ground? Nope. Get on the ground! Come on! I'm trying to show this thing, and you're not working. Okay, finally. Okay, if you get near him, you can clap. Apparently not. I, I guess it's only in the first boss. Um, but if you clap near him, at least in the first boss, um, you, you can get um, coconuts from him. What? Yeah, that's an annoying thing about this. He'll, the terrain will block you from hitting him half the time. If you just do that, you should be fine. Yeah, the hogs are awesome. I love these bosses. But uh, back to the discussion of the uh, using a GameCube controller with this. Um, 
Oh god, I remember this. That is a really annoying attack to dodge, I must say. It is not pleasant at all. Because you just got that electric wave, and like there's not much you can do to dodge it. No! Oh, come on! Freaking bull! That was just stupid. Like, why did I have to go on the monkey bush thing? Har, har, har. Like that. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. And he's not. This is annoying me. Okay, give me some coconuts. Or just do that again. Ah! I'll have the heart, heart, heart. Go out some other door, cat. I don't usually call him cat, but just for the sake of. I feel like it. Har har har! Oh, he hit me! Dang it! I'll oh, cut this again. I I remember having a lot more trouble with that. Ah, come on! This is annoying me. See why I love this boss? Is because it's just like so fun. I feel like you could do something with this attack to hurt him. I'm probably wrong about that. No! Come on, why can't I hit him? Finally! Gee, that was... took way too long. Now don't... mess up again. Okay, finally. And like, I, I, was, I, was, playing, I was playing Banana Kingdom in the... when I was using the gaming controller. Controller, I don't know why it sounded so weird there. I don't have any kind of accent. If I do, it's really faint. Mm -hmm. And like the controls against Dread Kong or the Kongs in general, like they suck. They freaking suck. Like I had, like you have to press. Oh, by the way, to clap on the the GameCube controller, you have to you have to use the C stick, which doesn't work half the time and was really annoying. And there's Bloat Hog. He's an awesome boss. And like. In the boss, it was so annoying. You had to press like left C stick to dodge his attacks, and then to attack. I had I didn't even know what he had to do to attack. Like, I think he had to use the control stick or something. But it seemed like no matter what I did, I only could get in like five punches each time. I didn't get hit, but it was still really annoying. But there we go. That level's freaking done. I hate that level, but it has an awesome boss. You got a crest. No, duh. Yeah, shut up. Just keep mocking me, don't you? Or keep mocking me, why don't you? But there we go, Melon Kingdom sucks. Face. So now, on to the Durian Kingdom. Oh my god, I hate this level. You'll see why later. So here's the first level, and DK with his awesome pose for some reason. Battle for Storm Hill. I don't know, it makes me think of Storm from the X-Men. Even though I don't even watch, or read X-Men. I don't know why I said watch. This has nothing to do with um, Storm from X-Men. Here we have these guys again. I found out the secret, just clap and jump. I don't know why I found that so difficult. But here you have these cannibals falling the entire time. And it's not exactly easy to dodge them, especially with the awkward controls. But here we have a new enemy, the Ninja Monkey. Once he does that, when he jumps up in the don't oh, don't do that first. Once they jump in the jump up in the air, clap at them, and then they'll die. They're pretty standard enemies, except they're Ninja Monkeys. My brother would love these enemies. Oh God! I didn't even expect that. I remember I remember being in this level now, but I didn't expect it. So that's what happens with those guys. They just pop out of nowhere. You don't expect them. You know what works if, uh... They lightning zaps them. <sighs> I want to let my cat out. Hold on. Be free! He's no gooba, but he's pretty hilarious. Yeah. 
board on my leg. Oh god. And something also, when you start the game with the uh, control stick, or the, with the game, GameCube controller, it will say, um, we highly recommend that you play this with the uh, bongos for the full experience, or something like that. But you can actually get, um, as you can see, this guy gave me three bananas, but you can get five bananas from them if you get really up close to them when you clap at them. Like this. You get five bananas there. And then you get 25. Oh god, these guys. These guys just keep coming! I love how it zooms in on your face when it does that. Smack down! Oh god, ninjas! Oh. It's really hard to get that five banana bonus. Oh god, shurikens! Throwing stars, whichever one. Oh, but this is the guy that's throwing uh, shurikens. If you grab him, you can kill him like that. It's pretty hilarious that you bop him on the head. Boop! Is this a secret here? Oh, right, here's the real challenge of the level. Um, now you gotta judge these guys. If you clap at these guys, you can, uh, you know, use them as cannons. I'm not quite sure how to jerk. It's pretty confusing how those guys work. It seems like some, only sometimes you can grab onto them. Nope. Dang it. Hey. Swing onto the wall and then jump back on. Okay, no, what am I saying? Just do this. No, uh. Maybe you gotta do that so you don't get killed. Turns out I didn't even need a combo. Oh god, no more fire warthogs. Oh god! Yep, I think that's what happens if you fall into the pit uh, in uh, the fight with Torch Tusk. He'll, like, you know, jump up like that and do the da -da 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 thing. Oh god. Here's the blue monkeys. These ones are kind of like the green ones, except me doing that. I don't think I've ever been down here. If I have not at this point in the level. Look at all these projectiles. This is like the only point in the game where enemies are a big problem. Boom. These blue ones are kind of like the green ones, but they disappear if you get close to them. You can't grab them in time. It's not as easy as getting the green ones. Oh god, I almost fell off there. The spikes. The green ones will run away. Bop! Sliding there. Slip and slide it. Oh, ow. Oh, ninja monkeys. Ah, sh sh shurikens. This place is so crazy. Bop! Bop! Bouncy. Oh god. Bop! Best commentary ever. Oh god, more ninja monkeys. I feel like this is like a secret or something. Yeah. Oh boy, now we have a mini boss. This guy again. And this time there's blue monkeys on the outside. You have to jump. Ow. Oh. Oh. That was stupid. Oh, good. And Spider Dude is dead. And the monkeys will go away. You don't have to deal with them. Ooh, look, a durian. It looks so tasty. It looks like it will bleed my mouth if I try to bite it. Like, if you see, Donkey Kong will get all, like, he'll look really hungry if you get near it. But why is he hungry for durians? They're so... They're probably not even edible. They're, they're probably edible. Yeah, but they're edible. They're in sunshine. It's fruit. So, they're weird, spiky fruit. They look painful. 
Hey, Jock Vaughn! Hey! So that's Battle for Storm Hill. I don't even remember what the second level is. Airy. Oh, this one. I remember this one now. You're inside this. What looks like a dungeon. Oh. Looks like a dungeon for most of the level. Can't miss those. Oh, this will work. Nope. Let's get that B. Bees! There we go. Oh god. I almost got hit there. Okay, now we're underwater. With dead fish. Where are those people? Or monkeys. Maybe so many bananas you've collected depending on the instruments, because now the, the whole guy's here and I didn't get an extra combo. The kind of all those guys with the spikes will turn red as you just saw. Unspike. Undeath. No, death. Yes, death. I think up is a secret. No. Nope. Could have got those all in one shot. I took him down in one shot. I feel like there's some pretty challenging things in here. Case in point, jellyfish. And you have no killer whale this time. Killer whale is only in one level, I think. It might be like one level in the next world. I swim against the current there. This kind of a... No, it kind of the same combo as wall jump. Oh my freaking god, I know this. This is this guy again. But now you have to deal with currents. Only had the power of one hand clapping. But now it's a little simpler. Get out of the current. No! Grab him! Grab! Okay, there we go. I have nothing to grab there. I could have probably gone on to this guy and kept my combo, but it probably would have been a little risky. Will it definitely be risky? I'm not sure if it will work. Okay, cool. Got a combo going. Okay. Well, here's I can get some ground pounds. Wasps! Oh, did he hit the wall and die? To get the sliding. I don't know. I don't want to get the sliding thing. Because because then I'll probably lose my combo. That's probably not worth it anyway. Well, no. I, I do, but I don't. I'll try it. I'm probably going to regret it. There we go. Oh, God. I forgot about this. Combo 10. Nice. You have to fight these guys on birds. Stop dropping junk on me. Can you even hurt them? Blah! Forgot about that. I don't know what I was thinking. You can't get these guys. Like, when they jump up, you can get them. I think I missed a big secret up. Oh, God. Level, oh my god, I hate this level. And more monkeys. And more stupid shurikens. They just keep coming. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not even trying to make a Starpop trip. They just, they just don't stop. And you keep losing your stupid combos. Because of these stupid guys. Bop. Bop. God, this... Oh god, fire guy!
probably a mess up here. Here you have the spinning thingy. It's pretty simple, just keep doing that. Ugh, more birds. And the outline of this level is fire. That's a good sign. Fire. Oh god, I forgot about that. They dropped coconuts for you to use against them. Probably not gonna do this. I mean, I have 1200 or over 1200, over 30, over 1300. But this is the true reason why I hate, hate, hate this level. This boss is a Kong. It is the hardest boss in the entire freaking game. Ninja Kong. I hate, 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 hate. This freaking boss! Like, this boss, he seems pretty simple now. This boss, I think, is the only boss I have died to. Because I have, like in the past, this is the boss I got stuck on. Yes, I got stuck on this boss due to death. Well, not me dying. I mean, I... As I see it there, just dodge his attack twice and make sure to punch him in the center. Here's his second phase. It sucks. It's really difficult. You have to keep dodging and punching. Like, you have to punch, dodge, and punch, dodge. It's like... I mean, it, it seems pretty simple. There you go! Ninja Kong! He's freaking hard! I said Karate Kong was the hardest for the point in that game. I still kinda stand by it, it's concerning that I just whooped his face. But that boss, Jesus Christ, that boss is ridiculously hard. I don't wanna see his face again, especially since I got the Platinum Crest on this level twice. And I actually have to do, because this level, this game, it doesn't have multiple files, it's still at the beginning. I would have used a separate file, but it didn't have that. So I had to move my memory card over to a different, or move my memory from this game over to a different memory card, and then use this memory, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete whichever one has the lowest score. I'm probably gonna delete this one. Try this, stupid. What's he doing? Oh, that. Jesus Christ. Whoa. That's a good try. This. But that is the Durian Kingdom. It's annoying, because I have somehow won. So here, instead of getting the B, we get a moon, like the sun of the Yang. And a scary image of that dude. A new kingdom barrel has been discovered. You need 22 crests to play this. But believe it or not, this is technically the final boss of the whole game. I know I said there's four worlds, one being B. But this is um, technically the final boss of the game. So I'll see you guys for the Cactus King later.